Hi guys, it is Sunday, February 10th, 2013, and so at night time. So while all the sheeple are glued to their little sugar tits watching the Grammys, don't get me going on that. I've already had one rant. Hambone Little Tail is sitting in his trailer on this Sunday night watching this vomit inducing YouTube video that I found on topdocumentaryfilms.com called Welcome to the World Why Poverty and this is a one hour video and from this pretty good website actually called Why Poverty uh, YouTube channel called Why Poverty which I am subscribed to and I do recommend it it's uh, Kind of a, I, I'm not sure what point these various videos are making, and particularly this one. So what this video does is it, it, is it follows the lives of three poor women. One in Sierra Leone, one in Cambodia, and one right here in good old San Francisco, California, USA. These women who have absolutely zero business having children. On every single level, these completely irresponsible uh, walking cases for forced sterilization, they have zero business zero business bringing one child onto this planet, not to mention the, the, the little broods that they already had inflicted upon their children, upon themselves, upon society, and most of all on this planet, zero business bringing these, uh, these little bundles of joy into this world. And I don't know what the filmmaker was trying to uh, to prove in this vomit-inducing 58 minutes uh, of truly a descent into a Malthusian nightmare of epic proportions. If ever I have seen one video that is... A, a walking advertisement for forced sterilization. Planet-wide forced sterilization from Sierra Leone to Cambodia to the United States of America. Welcome to the world. Why poverty is it? This whole thing is horrendous enough, guys, but I just, I just have to play you this one little clip. So where we are in this clip is over here in Sierra Leone, where this 25-year-old woman, I can't remember, it's either her fourth or fifth child this 25-year-old woman is having. Okay, you got to understand, while she was having this child, her husband was at a dance. The uh, irresponsible son of a bitch who knocked up this woman, who is more, who is even guiltier than the woman herself, he was off at a dance while this woman was bringing another little, another little bouncing bundle of joy onto this planet. Uh, and this is what she had to say, apparently, in her post partum interview. I don't know, a day or two after having this baby, this is what this young mother in Sierra Leone, Africa, had to say about it. Uh, it's, it's in, I guess, some sort of Swahili with English subtitles. Okay, here, if you cannot read this, guys, here is what this woman is saying. Quote, I will have more children because I am so poor. Look at the face, guys. 
I will have more children because I am so poor. Okay, what is this? Uh, maybe one of my children will be somebody great and redeem me from poverty, she says. And uh, I guess I missed it. I guess it was already that she had said earlier. Uh, and they're talking. This is, this is an African talking and saying, uh, There is no food for my children here. Maybe they will go overseas. Are you listening, Europe? That's exactly what her children and her, her little African bundle of joy is going to do. Her children, I guess she's going to have ten of them before it's all over, are going to go overseas as refugees. Okay, Europe? Look out. That woman's kids are on their way to eat your food. And uh, so then I got to go over to the comments section and leave my comment expecting to see all of these bleeding heart liberal comments. And I am thrilled to announce that uh, a lot of them, a lot of people who witness this agree with me. Of course, here was this fellow, uh, Hambone Little Tail. His comment uh, was this. Was the purpose of this vomit-inducing video to provoke pity for these irresponsible idiots from Sierra Leone to San Francisco? If so, it failed miserably and in fact moved me to the point beyond pity that Don Juan used to talk about. If ever there was an argument for mass, for mass forced sterilization on this planet, including San Francisco, this video makes it loud and clear. Goodbye, bleeding liberal heart. I'm signing up with the Malthusians. Google over population for more on this subject. And uh, here's a guy, uh, more birth control is needed, thank you. Here is the next one who gets right to the point that I agree with 100%. They are all better off dead. And from him, I'm getting ready to, to have a string of F words. I'm going to count to three and unleash with a string of F words. One, two, three. Here is the comment from my fellow. He has a picture uh, of Mother Earth here. Mother Earth saying, uh, What is wrong with you fucking humans? If you cannot feed your own baby, then don't have a fucking baby. That child is suffering a horrible life. Arrest the mother. Keep her fucking legs closed. I could not have said it any better. Here's one, uh, this woman saying, uh, I just want to cry. You poor, pathetic people make me so sad. There you go. I agree with that one, too. Uh, you know, these little bundles of joy. One hundred and thirty million. One hundred and thirty million of these little bundles of joy hit this planet every single year, guys. It is time to put an end to it. I will get behind any, any 
world, a new world order depopulation agenda that is calling on the mass sterilization on planet Earth. We need, we have a planet to save people and putting up with this unbelievable, unbelievable level of denial is going to take this planet uh, right along with the Grammys down with it. I've, I've had enough. I couldn't, I couldn't hold back this bile until I got up on that rock tomorrow. I, I just, uh, I, I just couldn't stand it. This is your old eugenicist. And let me make, make sure, just so you don't understand, I think that that white woman right there in San Francisco, in many ways, that honky bitch, she is, she is more guilty than the black one or the Asian one, okay? She, she calls herself correctly poor white trash. You white trash bitch, you have less excuse than that woman over there in Africa or that woman over there in Cambodia. Every damn one of you. Bye, guys.